Hey guys, Target Cyclone FPV, and uh, we're gonna do a video here. Uh, I'm doing a video for a customer, but it actually brought up a good point about something I didn't have the answer to exactly. I think I know the answer, but I'm not sure. So I said, you know what, let's go ahead and test this out. So here's what we're gonna start with. Uh, let me show you what we're going with here. So what I'm gonna have laid out on the bench is the following. I'm gonna have an F7 board sitting right here. I'm bringing out the uh, RXSR. This is the uh, original ACCST RXSR. Uh, and I believe now it's been replaced with the Archer RS. Uh, yeah, I think that's right. Um, uh, sorry, let me close it's on my computer. And he's done something to his, and so I'm gonna go ahead, we're gonna end up setting up the X9 Lite. Uh, we're gonna do the RXSR, we're gonna flash it with the firmware, and kinda try to see if we can make it um, update and then go back, okay? And we're gonna find out if we've got problems. He was experiencing problems, and I'm curious to see if it's gonna be the same problem for us. The first thing we're gonna do is, we're gonna go ahead and open the uh, RXSR, all right? And uh, get the plug, and we've got our update cable, we've got everything here. So I'm going to just just stock, right? Just the way it arrived. Uh, let me see if I can get this to plug in properly. I have to put my glasses on, I guess. All right, so let's plug this in. Uh, no, wrong plug, sorry. Let's plug this in with these because I'm gonna solder this to the um, to the board here. Now this is a JG, JG, uh, JGMCU uh, F7 uh, board with the, um, it's a deluxe board, it's got the, uh, pads on here so that you don't have to have a PDB. Uh, and this will support, as you can see here, for your four ESCs. Not really important about the board right now, but I do like the board. I'm gonna use it as my example for this test. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna prepare it. I need to put my glasses on, old man glasses here. Make sure I start on the right thing. Um, and let's see what we got. So we've got, uh, where is my stuff? Okay, I think we're gonna go right here, actually. I may have already tested this once then, so let me just, I got 5 volt, I got TX, uh, and I got TX6 here. Let me just make sure we've got a good connection here with the computer, and then I'm going to share the computer screen with you to be able to watch what I'm doing. So let's just give this a shot real quick. Make sure that everything's okay. And I'll show you the computer screen here in a second. Here we go. Alright, so let's go ahead and connect. I think we should be all set, right? So let's go to ports. And we are talking about S bus on UART 3. So that's fine. So let me just go ahead and find that real quickly. Uh, okay, so that's going to be over here. So, uh, yeah, that's fine. So what we're going to do, I'm going to go ahead and just get ready to tip this up. And then I'm going to use clips here. I don't think I'm going to actually solder anything onto this board yet, but we'll see. I'll figure that out in a second. So let's go ahead and get the soldering here. I'm gonna go ahead and connect these and hope for the best. Um, see what we've got here. And I believe that my radio, I think the radio that I'm using was upgraded to, to, to the, uh, the ISRM was updated. I'm gonna find out real quickly. So I'll show you, what, it says we're upgraded to 2.1.0. I'm gonna see if that's a fact or if we downgraded it. So let me, uh, everything's kind of going crazy here right now, so let me just get this going. All right, so soldering is ready. And uh, let's see what I got. I got these new, I got these new tweezers, by the way, and I, I, this could be my first time to test them, but I think they're gonna be awesome because they clamp on their own. We're gonna actually sell these on our site, so you'll be able to, you'll be able to find them. Um, I need to get some solder here, so let me grab one real quick. Okay, so we're taking the green cable, right? That's gonna be our S-Bus. So we're gonna take the green cable and we're gonna put this into, let's see, into our RX3 here. And we're gonna take our ground, put it to any of our ground. This one's fine right here. All right, and then we're gonna take our five volt and put it to our five volt here. Perfect, okay. Now, what I want to do is I'm going to plug this in and make sure, first thing I want to do is I want to see if I can even power it up from here. And I can, so that's great. So I don't have to apply any power right now. I just need to watch. And I'm going to go ahead and turn my radios on right here, so as you can see. All right, now, the problem here is I upgraded this, I believe I did, to 2.1.0. It says it on my screen, but I can't remember if I put it back. So I'm going to hold my menu button down, and I'm just going to press page, and I'm going to keep going until I get to my... 
where am I at? Firmware uh, modules. And the ISRM, okay, so I've downgraded it back to 1.1.3. So realistically, I should be able to bind with this right now. So I'm going to go ahead. Let me get back and go to my menu and see what models I have. So I'm going to do, um, I'm going to make a, go to model two, and I'm going to make a copy of it. I'm going to put it on four, and I'm going to select that model. Okay, and I'm going to label this um, RXSR test. Okay, so bear with me a second while I do this. I got enough space. Okay. <laughs> RXSRT. E. Sorry, guys. I know it's. I don't move this stupid little scrolly thing fast enough. Test. Here we go. Done. Okay. So that's going to be our RXSR test. And we're going to be using. Okay. So the first thing that I told the customer is that he did not have the ACC ST options. And I said, well, you have to do your firmware. So we're going to go through that video in just a second on how to update this radio. But right now, I just want to test something real quickly. So we're going to use this, and this is going to be receiver number four because it's going to be model number four. And I'm going to go ahead now. I'm going to remove this so you can watch it all. Okay, first thing is we're going to notice that there's a blue light on here. That blue light means that we're in S bus mode and not CPPM mode. If we were to press this button, the bind button, right, or now it's the fail safe, if you press this button and hold it for four seconds, three, four, and then let go, maybe I didn't do it long enough. Hold on. One, two, three, four. Let go. There it goes. See, it's blinking. Now it's gone. Now it's going to restart, and I'm in CPPM mode. Okay. So one of the things that you noticed, that what he did on his receiver, and I'm about to test, is he didn't update. And then all of a sudden, the CPPM option was gone. So I'm going to put it back though by holding it. So we're going to count the red blinking as a second. So ready? Let me hold it now. Oops. Hold on. Okay. One, two, three, four. Let go. And there it is. My blue light comes back on. And now I am back in S bus mode. Okay. So let's go ahead and try to get this bound. And to do that, I am going to. Um, oh, I hate doing this part. It's going to be the easiest way here. Let me see. If I hold the button, I got to be able to plug this USB port in as well. And that's not going to be easy for me to do. So let me see if I just go ahead. And for this one part, I just use my power for my alligator clips here. This way I can just flip the power switch on my the AC to DC converter. So let's put power here. Ground here. Cool. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put this into bind mode by holding the bind button down and flipping on the power. And hopefully everything will work properly. First thing we want to notice is that our red, green, and blue lights right there are all solid. Okay? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my radio and I'm going to hit my bind button here and I'm going to put 16, 9 through 16 with telemetry on and you can see now my red light's blinking. Okay, that means that we've got binding so I can hit my button again to stop it, hit exit, get straight to my home screen and now I'm going to turn the power off to cycle this down real quickly. Okay, take off my power and I think I can just, from this point, I can, I can just use the USB we're going to find that out real quickly so I can show you on the computer. Let's plug in our USB. That should power us up, and we should get a solid green light. There we go. And we have it. So we have a solid green light, as you can see. We have a solid blue light. And on here, we have our RXSR test, and we have our RSSI signal right here, okay? So far, everything's working great. Now I'm going to log into Betaflight. Just like this, and you guys can watch. I'm gonna click connect. Uh, I guess the board's upside down. Fine. Ports is three. I'm gonna go to my configuration tab. Make sure that I have this changed to S bus. I'm gonna click save and reboot. Okay. Click connect. Go to receiver. Uh, let me make sure I've got everything here right. Uh, go to this one, click save. All right, now I'm going to give it some power because I'm trying to figure out if I need that in order to get a response here. So hold on a second. I don't think I do, but I just want to make sure I'm not missing something. So let me go ahead and get my 
Power and ground setup. Flip it on. Make sure I get everything going because I know let me disconnect. Plug this back in. I don't have time to play with this this hub here that I'm using, so I'm going to just go directly in. Well, this is a different problem. Let's see what we got. I'm going to turn the power off of the DC and AC. Remove this. Telemetry lost. Plug this back in. Telemetry recovered. Let me wait for it to come up on beta flight here. Let's click connect. Okay, now if I apply power, there it goes. Okay, so we're getting our power right now and what we wanna do is, we don't have any receiver settings yet. So let me just make sure I've got everything set properly. Let's go to ports. It looks like I do, there should be no problem there. Load configuration. Verify I've got it right here, and I do. All right, I'm going to drop there. Because I've used this board, I, I guess I see some of the changes I made. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go back to, I'm going to go to defaults. Make sure I get this done properly. I don't want to mess this up. Okay, let's click connect. Reset, let's go to ports. Okay, we will get UR3. Save and reboot. Connect. Configuration. And we're going to tell it we want serial and we want S bus. Click save and reboot. All right, now this should work. We should have our our uh, feedback here. But my question now is, I'm wondering if they designated this port as the S bus port. So if they didn't, oh, there it is. Okay, so we are good. All right, so let me go ahead and switch this over. And now we've got stick movement and everything looks good. Okay, so I had changed some settings in this board prior to this and I just need to go back. All right, so right now we know it works, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do here is, we're gonna show you what happens when you push this button and the blue light's not on, right? So we're gonna hold it for a four count. Two, three, four, and then let go. Blue light blinks. We should telemetry see a disconnection lost. from the telemetry radio, recovered. and we did. We just heard telemetry lost, telemetry recovered. But now if you look at the screen, we're done. We have no function at all because we turned SBUS off, okay? So if you do not have the blue light on here, and you're using <coughs> the original ACCSD firmware, uh, and you don't have any signal like this, you need to hold this down for four seconds. One, two, three, four, and then let go. Oops, I didn't do it, hold on. Can't get my fat fingers to do this, so one second. Get my tweezers, it'll help me. One, two, three, four, then let's try again. One, two, three, four. I'll go five just in case. There we go. All right, fine, fine. Telemetry lost. Okay, telemetry, telemetry lost, recovered. telemetry recovered. Boom, we got our telemetry back, and you can see on the screen our sticks are back. So that's one for troubleshooting playing around this receiver. It's the first thing I wanted to do. Okay, now let's go to the next part. The next part is, is regarding the update of the firmware, okay? So what the gentleman did is he put the access firmware on there, right? Or did he put the 2.1? I'm gonna find out here real quickly, but that's what we're gonna do next. So um, we are going to stop here, right? Disconnect, all right? And then I'm gonna basically get back into uh, getting to video number two now. So we know this works. This is how we set up the RXSR regular and how we bind it to a radio. Now we're gonna start troubleshooting a little bit and manipulating some of the software and stuff and seeing if we can still make it work, okay? So I'll see you guys in just a minute with part two. Peace.